All right, let's continue on with finding the area under the curve uh, using rectangles. So last time we looked at um, the area using two rectangles and it was an upper sum. So with this one, let's do four rectangles. And again, we're gonna make it nice and easy on ourselves and each rectangle is gonna be um, of equal width. So they're all evenly spaced. Okay. All right, and we're gonna make sure that we're covering the whole area or the whole region. So we're drawing four rectangles like this, whoops. And this one will go over like that. So they're supposed to be evenly spaced, it just doesn't look like it. So they're all a quarter uh, in length on the base. So I'm gonna take a fourth uh, for this first rectangle and multiply by its height, which would be one, plus a fourth for the base on rectangle number two. So this height of this rectangle uh, is gonna be generated by this point. And if you're going, well, how do you know which one it is? Well, because the rectangle is gonna hit the curve twice. It's gonna hit it once on the left and once on the right. So between the two, if you're looking at it like this, the height is hitting on the left side because that's the highest point. It hits it over here on the right, but the rectangle keeps going up above it. So don't let this be your height. It's, it's this one. So that height occurs when X is 0.5. So you're going to stick it into the function again. So if you stick it in and work it out, it comes out to 15 over 16. Rectangle number three, base is a quarter. That height's given by 0.5, so stick it in for x, work it out, and it comes out to 3 fourths. And then the last rectangle is a fourth, and then its height is given by the 0.75 or 3 fourths. Stick that in for x, and it comes out as 7 over 16. So if you multiply and combine everything together, that comes out as 25 over 32. <laughs> now, this isn't the only type of sum that we can do. So this is one, it was your upper sum because it was above the actual area <laughs> or higher than the actual area. So instead of drawing it like we did before, let's draw two rectangles that are inscribed or inside under the curve. And this area would be called a lower sum. So the area of the rectangles is going to be less than the actual area of the curve or the region. Okay, so this time my rectangle is like this. And over here, so if you look at it, the um, between the, the left side of the rectangle and the right side, it's the right side that hits the curve first. Because I don't want to keep going on the left and make this a height because then my rectangle is above or it's greater than the area, just like the one up here. So that's how upper and lower sums work. One of them is going to, its height is on the left and the other one, the height is on the right. And they will switch back and forth depending on what your, your, your curve is. So in this case, your lower sum the height hits on the right. And that'll be true for every rectangle uh, from here on out uh, for this uh, example. So if you're looking at these two values, this is the one on the right. Well, it's hitting the curve right on the X axis. So the rectangle is actually flat. It's going over like this. So this, so this rectangle, it's technically there, but it just has no height. All right, so let's go ahead and try finding the area of those rectangles. So again, we're gonna use two rectangles for this. So it's a one half, 
times the height of this rectangle. So the, this height is occurring when x is a half. So again, plug that in for x to give you the height or the y value. So it's 3 fourths. Plus this one, it's got a base of a half, but its height is going to be zero. And you can double check that if you want. If you plug in the one in for x, you still get zero. So the total area of the two rect rectangles is three over eight. So then for this one, if we did four rectangles, we're gonna draw in like this. And the same thing, that last rectangle is gonna have a height of zero. It doesn't always happen like that, but sometimes it does. Okay, so if we look at the rectangles, I'm gonna show you a little trick. Each base is exactly the same. So when you go base times height plus base times height plus base times height, each base is a fourth. So for each term that's in there, the one fourth is common. So if you want, since they're all the same, you can factor that common base out and then you're just gonna be left with all of the heights. Just like over here, I could factor out the one half if I want to. So I'm just gonna do it in the beginning um, and then just get all the heights. And you don't have to do this, uh, just sometimes helps with calculations. Okay, so the first height is on the quarter, or the, the fourth. So plug that in for x, 15 over 16. Oops forgot what I was doing. 15 over 16 plus, and then the next height is generated by the half. The third height is gener generated by the three-fourths. And the last height is generated by the one, and that's gonna be a zero. So you could add all these numbers up first and then multiply by the fourth. And it comes out as 17 over 32. And so that is how you can calculate a lower sum. So the next video, we'll try some more just with a, a different curve uh, and just see how, so you can see how it's different.